So who was Rose Murder? And why was she one of the most widely venerated goddesses in the whole of Gaul? Now, stick with us until the end and we'll reveal just why she was such an important goddess amongst the Celtic people. So who was Rosmerta? Now, if we look at the name Rosmerta, it can be broken down to mean Ro meaning great and Smerta meaning provider. So Rosmerta was the great provider and she was the goddess of plenty and the goddess of abundance. She was one of the most widely venerated goddesses in the Celtic world and she was venerated right throughout Gaul on both sides of the Rhine and right up into Britain. And in Britain she was very popular amongst the Duboni tribe and the Duboni tribe was that tribe that occupied the southwest of England and right up through Gloucestershire. Now, when we look at the iconography with Rose Murder, we see that she's often seen accompanying other gods. So it's quite easy to perhaps think of her as a consort. But this is not true. She is seen with so many gods. She's seen with Mercury, and she's seen with Mars, and she's seen with the Germanic god Warden, and she's also seen with the god Lu. So this has got to tell you just how important a figure Rose Murder was in the Celtic world. Now let's talk about some of the symbolism associated with Ros Murder. And the most common symbol is the Cornosopia. And for those that don't know, a Cornosopia is a horn that is filled with flowers and fruit and corn. And it's a symbol that represents abundance and plenty. And we also see Ros Murta carrying a patera. And a patera is a small dish used for carrying offerings to the gods. And yet another symbol that's associated with Ros Murta is an iron-clad wooden bucket or a milk pail. So this milk churn or the bucket that represents the milk churn is very significant in her role as goddess of plenty because you see milk and butter were stables in the Celtic world at that time. So much so that in some parts of the country, people measured the value of land by the amount of cows it could support and hence the amount of milk and butter that could be generated from that land. Now, although Ros Murta was seen in the company of many other gods. The one she was most often seen with was Mercury. And this makes sense because Caesar tells us that 
Mercury was the most venerated god throughout all of Gaul. And so we have Mercury, who is the god of commerce and trade, and he is matched with the goddess of plenty and abundance. Now, those would be two good deities to have on your side, I would think. And so close was this match that we often see Rosmurta borrowing the hat of Mercury with the wings and, and sometimes she has his purse. Now, rather than copying Mercury or being subordinate to Mercury, I think this is more to do with what was important at the time. And the purse, again, is a sign of wealth and commerce. And this, of course, commerce was very important in the day. And the winged hat represented communication. And Mercury had a winged hat so that he could fly between the worlds and communicate between man and the gods. So these were very important things at the time. Now one of the questions I think is important to ask is why is Rosmurda paired with Mercury, who was a Roman god? Well, as you know, the Romans syncretized their gods with every other god that they could find. Every god they came across, the Romans syncretized their gods to those gods. And the other thing to remember is, prior to Rome and the Roman expansion and the conquest of Gaul, the Celts, well, they didn't have much in the way of iconography and figurines. It was the Romans that came along when they started to put these gods, these deities, into some form of visual image. But why Mercury? Well, Mercury was syncretized to Lugas, or from our perspective, Lu or Hlu in the Welsh. He was also the Greek god Hermes, and that's quite significant. And why is that significant? Well, as I said earlier on, many people believe that Ros Murta was much more than just a consort for these other gods. And there is one figure, a Greek author, Aeschylus, and Aeschylus associates the mother of Hermes, and we'll call him Mercury, the mother of Hermes with the earth goddess, Gaia. And so there are some that associate Rosmurta with Hermes, Mercury, Lu, Woden, whoever you want to call them, or whatever name you want to call them by, they associate Rosmurta not as a consort, but in a maternal sense. So they, they're saying that Rosmurta is the mother goddess. So not only is Rosmurta the goddess of abundance and plenty, but she is quite possibly seen by many to be the great mother goddess, the 
earth goddess, Gaia herself.